Launch builders, launch builders, YouTubers, welcome, welcome. You already know what time it is. Not even gonna say it. Launch builders is the channel that you need in order to to, to further your your 1.8 and and two five ideas. Like I said, I'm gonna take us there. I'm gonna get us to the top. Thank you guys again. I know we're late. I know we're late. I tell you what, man. When when you're doing when you're doing stuff like this, man, there's, there's always some type of setback. I, I kid you not, man. There's there's always t some type of setback going on with the channel, but thank you guys again for being patient. The Mount video is finally here. I'm sorry. We tried posting it a few days ago. I mean, there's always something, man. You lose a fabricator and your fabricator's gone. You know, you can't get a hold of him. Um, your tuner's MIA. Your block has to go back to the machine shop. Your... Uh, Video editor, you know, had some issues with the video. It's it's always some type of life cycle, but it is what it is. I'm here to get you guys in. Um, so let's get it, man. So again, uh, as you guys know, uh, 07K. When you are picking your 07K um, or you're thinking about a swap, the first thing you need to do is consider what 07K you want. There's many different variants. When I mean many different variants, from beginning uh, to current. So you have um, older models, you even have diesel old 7Ks if you want to go there, but and then you have the newer TTRS RS3s. So it's all in what 07K you want, you have to decide which one you want and go from there. After you decide which one you want, then you need to figure out what you want to use the car for. Do you want it to be just a track car? If that's the case, go after market ECU. If you want uh, AC, ABS, yada yada, all these other little things. I mean, ABS isn't one, but if you want all the little things in the uh, car to where it's not saying, uh, you know, error, yada yada, then you're gonna want a stock ECU and reprogram. So again, it's all in what ECU you want, what 07K you want. Uh, again, 07Ks, there's forged crank, there's non-forged, there's, um, what is it called? Uh, Variable valve timing on exhaust and intake, not just intake. There's on the ECUs, there's a whole bunch of different setups. Again, you gotta figure out which one you want and then go from there. You gotta do your own research and study. I already did mine and I went to the junkyard and got mine. So I I planned ahead of time, knew what was there, uh, knew what to look for, and I got what I wanted. So again, find your 07K. We just happened to find ours for a great hell of a deal. Um, and then we're gonna show you the journey from there. So. Thank you, thank you guys again. Welcome back to Launchville, baby. Hey man, I've been working, man. I've been working, guys. I've I'm, I'm on the laptop, just working, uh, trying to fabricate things, trying to get the wiring figured out. I mean, there's just so much going on. So, thank you guys again. Um, Launchville. <laughs> Almost got it out. Woohoo! Forge crank, baby. Forge crank. You're so loud. <laughs> why? Why would I not be loud, Josh? I'm getting a forge crank 2.5 for what is the price? Somewhere around 300. That these are our templates. Yes, they are ugly for now, but wait and comment on the finished product. So. The motor is in attached to the trans. Um, cut out these templates, and it's going to sit pretty much on the, the stock frame area. So we're gonna keep the stock frame mount location, and we're just gonna extend off of that at an angle, and then have a plate bolted up to this, and just extend it like such. And these are the mounting holes right here, right? Yeah, okay. so it's gonna mount on all these holes over here, trying to get as much holes as possible for rigidity, and strength um, and then it's just gonna come off of here and then of course there's going to be some beams on the bottom and uh, top side to uh, strengthen the structure um, to test that uh, we have a special software that I will show you and this lets me test the strength the twist the uh, sag of the mount um, how much pressure I can put on it it, it tests everything the lows the twist um, what's needed to hold this bad boy up? All right, <clears throat> so you got your piece of metal. Just this piece right here. 
All right, give me a piece of metal and then we'll turn it into a mount. It's going to be a plate over on this side, flat up against there. And then we're going to make it adapt to uh, these mounts over here. Right, we're gonna do the same with this side, but we're gonna get started with that side first, since this one is already supporting this over here. We'll support that side, then make this mount, um, and then we'll go on to some further steps. All right. <coughs> So now that I had, you know, everything pretty much mocked up how I wanted it, how the plate is going to sit. I mean, it's it's simple to make a mount, guys. Honestly, it's real simple. Um, if Again, if you want, you can spend extra dough, but I'm not here to do that, man. I'm here to, again, build my own stuff, make my own stuff. You know, some things along the way I may have to get, but a $400 mount is not one of them. So, everything's mocked up, holes are aligned, Let's see how they go. Then we're gonna cut around the plate, add uh, the beam, some braces, yada yada, and uh, get going. So, we'll take this off, and then uh, we'll go from here. So, got some more of these pieces. These, uh, what is it called? I don't know, whatever gauge, uh, thick iron this is. Polishing these up, getting them nice and clean for weld. So, I already cut the pieces I need. I'm gonna polish these up. And then we're gonna go back to uh, getting everything on there. But not bad for a little flux core welder, especially first time. Not bad, not bad. So, I'll keep polishing these up, making sure we get good contact when we uh, made everything on. Bad boy coming together. All right, so, you know, had an idea. Got those beam, beamed up. Bra -bra. I got this blacked up too. Ooh, that shit hot. Ouch, ouch. But um, got that lined up. So then I'm going to add this one as well for support. Shoom. Go all the way down line. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. You know, make sure everything's lined up on each other. And then that way, Got us a nice little mount. Y'all see that? Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. So, <clears throat> gonna have that done and then, you know, redo these. Try to go all the way around. Uh, but man, this thing is gonna, it's gonna be nice. And for the low, low, you know, no. Mmm, genius, come on, man. All right, so even though it's pressed in, on top of being pressed in, I'm gonna beat it around, beep, 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 beep. And do the same with the other side. And we should, we should be good to go. After completing another round of welding, I mean, like I said, first time using it, we'll clean up those welds, but, I mean, they're not bad. It could be a lot worse. Come on, give me, give me, give me, give me. There we go. All 
Not bad. Honestly, kind of blended together. So it's all beamed up, welded together. Everything's good. Look, look at those transitions. I mean, not the best, but first time user. I ain't mad. <clears throat> I was braced up. I'm gonna get some focus. Boom, look at that. That's a nice picture.